Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again for our time together right now. I want us to come back to just two verses. Matthew chapter 21, verse 45. When the chief priests and Pharisees heard his parables, they perceived that he was talking about them. Duh. And although they were seeking to arrest him, they feared the crowds because they held him to be a prophet. It is amazing to me who controls religion. Religion is not controlled by God. Religion is controlled by the fear of people. You see, people who are involved in religion, I'm not talking about spiritual leaders now. I'm talking about religious leaders, people that are in this for the money, people that are in this for power and prestige. Uh, they're trying to please people. They, they need the people to follow them. So th these are not men who pray and seek God and ask for God's will. These are people who, even if they want to do something, they don't do it because they're afraid of the people. Now, if you're a leader today and you're making decisions because you fear the people, then I would challenge your walk with God. Let me say that again. I would challenge your walk with God. When I was a young pastor, I remember reading the books of Jonathan Edwards, George Whitchfield, Davenport, some of the great revivalists, Wesley's. And I remember how they used to talk about entering into a city and meeting with the, the, the pastoral council there and the minister's conference in a city. And they would stand there and berate them and say that you're not even saved. And as a young pastor, I thought, man, those guys are really judgmental and mean. But you know, the longer I serve God, the more I realize there's a lot of ministry out there. They're not saved. There's a lot of religious leaders out there. They're not saved. It's just a job. And everything they do, every decision they make, is a political decision. Every decision they make is based on, will it make the people happy? Not will it serve the people. Will it make the people happy? Now, if you're going to be a spiritual leader, if you're going to follow God, you're going to have to understand, you know what, there's going to be some things you do that the people don't like because you can't bring them into change. You can't bring them into growth. You, you can't bring them into progress. You can't bring them into revival if you're afraid of what they think. You have to be willing to follow God. And then the people will follow you, as Paul said, as you follow Christ.